Well, after all that horrible rain, we finally got some sun. Yay, sun. Hello everyone, it's Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. Welcome to Tuesday. I hope you're having a good Tuesday wherever you are in the world. I'm just running another errand right now. Just, you know, forever running errands really because we're still down to one car. For those who are interested, we've got no update yet on the uh, RAV4 EV. Unfortunately, we still don't know what's wrong with it. And this is, you know, part of the challenge that comes from owning an older electric vehicle. You just have to roll with it really. And hopefully at some point soon, I'll get the car back. I'll get it back on the road and I'll be able to have some 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 wheeled independence because I really miss having my own car and my wife has been very gracious and lovely but if you've ever had to share a car with your spouse you know that 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 after a while if you're used to having your own cars after a while it does get just a teensy little bit frustrating so what am I going to talk to you today about well I want to talk to you today about locations of charging stations because um, Shell has said in the UK it's going to start installing electric car charging stations at its petrol stations and honestly I can't think of anywhere worse that I would rather charge my car I mean it makes sense on at least one level because that's where you fill up your car with petrol so why not fill your car up with electricity there but petrol stations are not particularly welcoming they're not comfortable places to wait okay there are some you know newer petrol stations in the UK that have these little nice little cafes attached to them and if you're on a motorway service station um, then it's different I mean if you go to somewhere like an Ecotricity charging station on the I don't know the M4 or the M1 or wherever generally those locations have like a Starbucks or a Costa um, coffee shops basically where you can sit and you can drink a coffee or a tea and wait for your car to fully charge most petrol stations most gas stations are not like that they're not the most pleasant place on the planet so I understand why they might want to do it but I would much rather see charging stations pop up in other locations. Now, charging stations do require, if you're, if you're going with an electric car charging station, a high powered one, they do require a significant amount of electricity in order to operate. I mean, you need to have um, a decent uh, three phase power supply that can handle, you know, 50 kilowatts minimum. Ideal, if you're looking at future proofing, two or 300 kilowatts. And of course, most petrol stations have that because petrol stations are places where you, you have huge amounts of electricity being consumed because all those petrol pumps use an awful lot of electricity to pump gasoline. So thank you, pickup truck. I'm gonna sneak across and get through there because that's where I want to be. And therefore I beat the traffic. Yay for me. Excuse me while I turn my thing on it's cold outside despite being a nicer day today it's still cold it's supposed to get warmer but whether it will or not not so sure this is the bit I have to concentrate on so just bear with me it's my sneaky run through so I don't get stuck in traffic queues I know the tricks although it looks like the freeway is really backed up that's not good not good at all so as I was saying, we were talking about putting electric car rapid charging stations in uh, petrol stations or gas stations and whether that's a good idea or not. I'd like to know your thoughts because maybe you think it's the best place. Maybe, you know, if you've if never re really driven an electric car very much, maybe you think it's the logical place. You know, maybe you miss going in for your salami, your beef jerky or whatever. I, on the other hand, I feel that, that, that perhaps it's, there could be better places. Let, let, let's, let's put it like that. Now, if you look at Tesla's supercharger model, Tesla tends to put its superchargers in locations where there are lots of, there's lots of spare power available, um, where there are restaurants and, and places you can eat. Sometimes there aren't. But normally most Tesla supercharger stations have been sighted with a mind to what the person 
who's stopping and using the supercharger is going to do while they're waiting for the car to charge. And I think that's what we should be doing with, with these other stations. Now in the future, you know, when we've got cars that can charge from empty to 80% full in 15 minutes, and that equates to, I don't know, 150 miles of, of, of travel, you know, when you're charging at 300 kilowatts or 400 kilowatts, then stopping at a, a gas station or a petrol station makes more sense. But it doesn't strike me as being the most logical place to be, to be filling your car. It's the most logical place because they're next to routes, but it's not the most logical place as in, I want to go. And a long time ago, I, I had this kind of dream vision for a futuristic filling station that you could um, that you could install alongside major roads and it would be built a little bit like an aircraft hangar so you'd pull off the freeway off the motorway and you would pull into this little aircraft hangar space which would be completely enclosed and you'd pull in you'd park up and there'd be rapid chargers for all the different standards you know against against the walls both walls and when you came in you parked at an angle and there would be shops or or cafes that you could sit and 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 enjoy a drink at and if the the space was was reasonably sheltered you could actually intersperse those next to the cars because there's no emissions you know you're not gonna feel noxious fumes every time someone starts their car up because it's electric and it could become a social space for electric car owners to talk and enjoy each other's company and maybe pass on some stories or whatever. And if you examine how people park and charge their car today, you'll find actually that's pretty much what happens. Um, I was at the um, Electric Avenue in Portland, Oregon at the weekend. Um, and that is a, a very well-known electric car watering hole because the, the, the charging stations are provided um, free of charge to the, the customer. They're, they're effectively paid for by the, one of the local electricity companies. Um, and you pull up, you park, you charge. There are four dual standard CCS Chademo quick charging stations. There are two... J1772 charging stations and it's a really nice social atmosphere and people stop and they talk um, as long as the weather's not too bad. If it's bad they just sit in their car and pretend that there's nobody else there. But imagine if you were charging inside an environment where talking was was easier because you weren't cold and sat outside in the rain. I think that would be the ideal for charging stations for me in the future. Um, or perhaps something like Fastnet is already doing in Europe. Um, if anyone's seen the Fastnet charging stations, they're actually built a little bit like a gas station. So you pull in under a canopy and uh, you plug in and you charge. But if I remember correctly, some of those actually have a social space as part of that charging experience. So you can get out of your car, you can stretch your legs, you can go and sit in the, in the, in the little lounge and stay warm and be outside of your car and obviously go to the restroom, et cetera, et cetera. So that's where I'd like to see charging stations in the future. I think the idea of having charging stations at a gas station just doesn't make sense to me. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm hoping that this traffic is gonna clear because crikey, it's just crazy right now. <sighs> this is Portland traffic. It, it, everyone moans about it and um, coming from the UK, it's not actually that bad, but <laughs> Americans moan about the traffic in Portland for a reason. So I'm just coming up to the last green and then I can get on the freeway. The guy in front of me has gone. And then me, it's time for me to go. And it is time for me to go. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want me to discuss any particular topics, do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash transport evolved. And I will be back tomorrow, hopefully, with some more thoughts, topics of discussion, questions, or tutorials. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do for Wednesday yet. Anyway, I will be back. Keep evolving. Bye. Bye.